we lay at Port Royal, Jamaica, our vessel very leaky. And heaving in the hold where the water came in, we heeled the ship over and found a rat had eaten through the side at the water's edge. Was it not for the superintending providence, how few seamen would be spared to old age considering the perils they go through? In this ship I was stationed when at sea in the main top, and I imagine that I have slept hundreds of hours in this top, even when the ship was rolling near gunwale in and often pitching with very sudden jerks against a head sea. But through mercy I was never thrown out of the top and the pillow I made use of was a small box of gunpowder deposited there for the hanker buses and the blunder buses in case of engaging the enemy. On one passage, many of the crew were attacked with excruciating pains in their bowels, and I believe nearly half of the men were confined to their hammocks. This disease, our surgeons supposed to be the effective poison Accordingly, the copper boilers were examined and a quantity of verdigris was discovered on the inside of the peas copper, which the cook's mate had neglected to clean, as usual. <laughs> For my part, I escaped by not liking the peas soup. And as I was always fond of administering to the sick, I was employed by the surgeon to assist in dispensing the medicines, and in a few days, through mercy, they all recovered. At another time, in some carelessness, the lead beneath the fireplace covering of the deck was melted and the fire burnt through the deck. But providentially, the carpenter going to his storeroom in the cockpit discovered the fire overhead and it was soon distinguished. Had it not been discovered so early as the storeroom contained oakum and pitch, etc., the consequences might have been fatal and our loss never accounted for. This ship being a contract one, our provisions were of infamous quality. The beef appeared coarse. The barrels of pork consisted of pig heads with iron rings still in their noses. Pig's feet and pig's tails with much of their hair thereupon. Each man had six pounds of bread and five pounds of salted meat per week, but neither beer, spirits, nor candles were allowed. I love reading about and trying to understand the life of an 18th century sailor, nothing makes that as easy to understand as being on a tall ship, just like what they would have had in the 18th century. Uh, our experience is here on the Friends Goodwill. This is the Michigan Maritime Museum, South Haven, Michigan. Uh, such wonderful folks that have hosted us here today to take pictures and do video. I love being able to walk the deck just like a sailor in the 18th century. Amazing experience if you're ever in Southwest Michigan. Make sure to check this out. And for more videos about salt pork or ship's biscuit, check these out.